Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, I don't know why I did all that, but anyway, so for today's video, we're going to be talking about common reasons why your channel might be growing, but slowly. Uh, like maybe you're getting views on your videos, but your channel just isn't heading in the direction that you want it to. That's basically what this video is going to be about. Um, you might be doing everything right. Like, honestly, you might just be doing everything right, but there could be one thing that you're doing wrong. And the goal of this video is basically to help you figure out what that one thing is and hopefully help you start heading in the right direction. Um, but yeah, you guys already know the vibes, drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed the video and all that good stuff. Other than that, let's get started. Also, before I do get started, I do want to quickly say that slow growth is always going to be better than no growth. You got to keep that in mind. A lot of people get too stressed that they're not growing the way they want to, but you got to keep in mind that you're still growing and that's a good thing. One view is always going to be better than zero views. Like, don't forget that. All right, now let's get started with the video. Okay, so I opened up my last video. I don't know why I'm pointing this way. What if I pointed this way? I don't I don't think it would have made a difference. Anyway, uh, I, I opened up my last video, which was like 25 tips for YouTubers about um, how your thumbnail is kind of like a movie poster. You want your thumbnail to look really good if you want people to click on it. Everyone knows that. It's basically common sense at this point. So what I want to talk about here is that you can have an amazing thumbnail and in a way it can still be a bad thumbnail. And I know how weird that sounds like you're, you're probably like, Moz, what are you talking about? That literally makes no sense. How can it be amazing and bad at the same time? That's a good question. Thanks for asking. Um, so let me break it down really quick. All right. So as everyone already knows, a, the purpose of a thumbnail is basically meant to be something that stands out so much that you literally want to drop everything. You want your viewer to drop everything just to want to click on your video because your thumbnail just looked that good. That's kind of like the point of it, right? It makes the viewer want to go out of their way to click on your video because it stood out that much. So something you want to keep in mind is that you're probably not the only person who's made a video on whatever topic you made a video about. So what you should do is literally just go on YouTube, like type in youtube.com and literally search for what you're making a video about. And right away, you're going to see everyone else's thumbnails, everyone else's titles and things like that. And you got to keep in mind that these are kind of like the people that you're competing against in order to get a viewer to want to click on your video. You know what I'm saying? Like if a viewer just goes on YouTube and searches up whatever you made a video about, they're going to see all those thumbnails and they're going to see all those titles. And the main goal here is you want to make sure that your thumbnail is at least the same quality, if not better than all the other thumbnails that show up. And the same thing with your title as well. Now, do keep in mind that if you're just starting out, you're probably not going to be that great at designing right now. And that's completely OK, because you have to remember that everyone starts from somewhere. So you get started now, but like in a couple of months of making thumbnails, you could be really good at it. So just keep that in mind. You can improve over time. If you're not good right now, it doesn't mean quit or anything. Like, just keep putting the work in. You got this. All right, so another reason why your channel just might not be growing the way that you want it to is because you don't have enough videos that are making um, people want to go and watch your other videos. And I think a really cool way to, like, think about this is, like, when you find an artist that you really like or, like, a TV show that you really like. Like, let's say, for example, you listen to one song from a random artist that you ended up liking the song, right? You're probably gonna be like, okay, let me go check out what other songs this guy has available because I might become a fan. Same thing with TV shows, right? Like if you watch an episode of a show and you're like, wow, this is a great episode. I want to go watch the rest of the show. It's kind of like the same thing with your YouTube channel too. Like if you have a very good video, a viewer is probably going to want to go and check out the rest of your videos. And if you don't have enough videos on your channel in general, you're not going to be able to get them to want to like cycle through a bunch of your content and end up becoming a proper fan of you. I've actually made a tweet about something like whatever I'm talking about right here somewhere in the past before. I'll put it, let me move out of the way. Some, it will be somewhere over here what I'm talking about, but basically you want to have enough content out or available so that when someone finds you for the first time, they have the chance to actually become a proper fan of you by like binging through your content. Because you got to think about it, it's pretty hard to become a fan of someone who only has like one video out or like one song out or it's hard to become a fan of like a TV show that only has one episode out. Like you want to have a cup, you want to have content available for someone to be able to binge through and really decide if they want to become a fan of you or not. Uh, one tip I do want to say here though is because I know a lot of people are going to take what I'm saying and like be like, oh, I guess I have to just upload a bunch of random content. No, that's not how it works. Uh, when you're uploading content, make sure it's content that people can like resonate with or respond to or just content that provides people value because it's basically going to be the backbone of your channel. Your videos are basically going to be the reason why your other videos start doing well as well. Um, because if one video is very good, someone's gonna be like, all right, this is great. Let me go watch another and so on and so forth until they become a proper fan of you. That's kind of how it goes. I mean, even ask yourself, that's probably how you became a fan of a lot of the YouTubers that you like to watch today. One quick tip for that though, is like playlists are like your best friend, like use them, set up playlists on your channel, set up like ones that have to do with like, oh, maybe you make gaming tutorials and do a gaming tutorials playlist, or maybe you make tutorials for a bunch of different games and do like Fortnite tutorials. Um, whatever tutorials, whatever tutorials, you know, so on and so forth. If you're a vlogger, you can categorize your playlist in terms of like funny vlogs, uh, whatever. I, you know what I'm saying. All right, on to the next one. 
Also, before we're on to the next one, um, make sure that you use end screens in your videos. Like the little thing that shows up at the end of like a video for like the last 20 seconds where like someone can click on a, on a thumbnail on your, on your video. Like use that because it can make someone finish. If someone finishes your video and gets to the end, they probably like your content enough. Most people don't watch a video all the way to the end unless they like you as a creator or really enjoyed your video. So it's always a good idea to put a video there because someone might click it and then they'll go and watch another one of your videos and then the same thing and the same thing and over time they could become a fan it just kind of comes back to that same thing of just making uh, having enough content available so that a viewer who finds you for the first time will be able to binge through your content and become like a proper fan of you also the comment question for this video i've been doing the comment questions like somewhere in the middle of the video lately let me know how you guys like that but anyways the comment question for this video is what's your profile picture is it like your logo is it a selfie is it something else and if so what is it let me know in the comments below i'm going to be reading all the comments as always but anyways back to the video all right and another thing that's always going to be tough and it's something that i said before too like in the beginning of the video but it's that when you get started you're kind of learning as you go most of the time you're not going to be amazing when you get started unless you have like a a specific kind of background like if you're a filmmaker or something or like if you've had history editing videos or you know like you've worked a job in that field then you're probably gonna be good at editing youtube videos too but the reality of is the reality of it is that most people who become youtubers aren't so they have to learn as they go um so when you get started you probably don't won't know how to make good thumbnails you might not be good at commentating you might not be good at editing and things like that but the thing is you will get better over time but the only way that that can happen is if you don't just quit because it's too hard. Like you have to put the work in to teach yourself how to do this stuff. Everyone else did it. And the cool thing now is that there are so many tutorials available for all that stuff. Like how to how to commentate, how to edit better, how to make thumbnails, how to get better at graphic design. Like there are so many tutorials available now for that kind of stuff that it's not as hard as it used to be. Like before you basically had to teach yourself everything, but now you can go on YouTube search up the things that you have questions about and learn it as you go. But yeah, like I said before guys, like everyone starts from somewhere, it's as simple as that. You basically just have to learn how to teach yourself, how to edit, how to make thumbnails, how to get good at titles and things like that. And you're also gonna have to find ways to become friends with other creators too. And I think a great place to do that is my Discord server. I'll have it on the screen right now. It's gonna be somewhere over here. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Future Moz, you, you're probably gonna decide that. But anyway, um, yeah, join the Discord guys. Like there are a bunch of designers in there, a bunch of YouTubers, a bunch of streamers and people who just have the same goal of like being able to grow as a creator so like if you have questions about how to make a better thumbnail you can literally ask it in the art channel in my discord server so yeah please guys join the discord server it's a great place to meet new friends if you don't really have a lot of friends who make youtube videos um it's a great place to go to meet other people to play games with for your youtube videos collaborate with things like that um but yeah like i said before everyone starts from somewhere it's as simple as that and over time you, you will be able to accelerate with this kind of stuff like uh, you'll get better at being able to make titles, you'll get better at making thumbnails, uh, you'll get better at being able to write descriptions, and all that kind of stuff. I've actually made a video on how to get better at like coming up with the video ideas, uh, coming up with good keywords for your videos, coming up with good titles, how to like think about your thumbnail and things like that. It's going to be linked right here on the screen right now, so be sure to click that video in case you guys do want to check it out. But anyways guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, be sure to hit that like button and drop a sub if you guys did enjoy the video, like I said before, I don't know why I said that twice. And share it with your friends too who want to be YouTubers or streamers or whatever, I'd appreciate it. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.